would you pay $1,600 for the spoon incidentally? <laughs> Probably not, except I did. Welcome back. Today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about this spoon that I carved. Now, this spoon is a very nice spoon. It's made of birch. It is a excellent spoon, I would add. I carved it myself. I have a very high opinion of this spoon. Now, you know, I carved this and I'm pretty proud of it. But how much did it cost me to carve? On the one hand, it cost me a branch that I found and the use of my wife's carving tools. And so you could say it didn't cost me anything to make. And in terms of dollars paid out of my pocket, you'd be right. But there is a concept called opportunity cost. Now, it took me eight hours to carve this thing. A little bit of time with a hatchet, a little bit of time with the carving knives, and eventually time with sandpaper to get it all silky smooth and awesome looking. So if you factor in the eight hours of time and say, okay, I could have been making money, and let's use a really low figure, let's say minimum wage, I could have made $7.50 per hour that I made that spoon, and it took me eight hours to make. So you multiply 7.5 times eight, I'm gonna round down to seven bucks times eight so I can do it in my head, that's $54. This spoon is worth $54, and not only that, because I spent the time carving the spoon that I could have spent making money, it actually cost me $54 to make the spoon. That is the amount that I personally paid to make the spoon if you factor in opportunity cost. Except that's not actually what I paid. You see, it gets a little bit more complicated. Um, I went to law school. I have three years of law school training under my belt and it is pretty typical for an attorney, a starting attorney, to make close to $200 per billing hour. Which means I, if we're gonna use that number, which is not purely realistic because I currently do not have, I'm not currently practicing, but factoring in education, my opportunity cost for making this spoon was actually $1,600. Yeah. Would you pay $1,600 for this spoon incidentally? <laughs> Probably not, except I did. The crazy thing about transactions and capitalism is that we operate on a subjective theory of value. And the beauty of that is when you trade with me and I trade with you, let's say that you have something that I want, let's say that it's, um, let's say that it's carving tools to make a spoon, and I have some money and we decide to make a trade, there is something beautiful happening in that transaction. In the moment we trade, you want what I have more than what you have, so you are happy because you've made the trade. And I want what you have more than what I have, so we make the trade. So I, I pay you 20 bucks for the carving tools. And you want the 20 bucks more than the carving tools, and I really want the carving tools more than the 20 bucks. Both of us feel like we gained something. And the beauty and the weird thing about that is because wealth is those things which people value, we have actually created more value simply by the act of trading. We didn't actually make anything, but both of us are more satisfied as a result. There is more wealth in the universe because we made a trade. So that's a really cool thing. Now, when I carve, when I spend time, when I spend time, I am making a transaction with the universe. I am spending something that I have, which is my time, to get something which I don't have, which is, I don't know, I'm watching a movie. Now watching a movie has an opportunity cost too, so let, we'll get into that in a second. Actually, let's get into that now. When you go to a movie, the opportunity cost of not going and making money with that time is about the same. Let's say, let's use minimum wage as an example. So you have the cost of the movie ticket, let's say that's 10 bucks, which is frankly pretty cheap for a movie ticket. And in addition to that, the average movie is what? Two hours plus some time waiting in line? Well, let's say two hours. And you have the opportunity cost, let's use minimum wage again, of two hours times $7.50. Now that's 15 bucks plus 10 bucks, which means the cost of your movie was the cost of that ticket, 10 bucks, plus an opportunity cost of 15. You actually spent 25 bucks to see that movie. Isn't that crazy? The weird thing about that though, is that if you made that trade, that actually was worth that much to you. 
you reveal what you prefer and what matters to you by the trades that you make. That includes your money trades and your time trades. And so, did I value this spoon to the amount of $1,600? The short answer is yes. It was worth it to me to forego all those opportunities and to forego any money I might have made during those eight hours in the evening and instead to spend it carving a spoon. And for me, it's not even the spoon itself. It's the carving of the spoon that matters to me. I actually haven't used this for any productive purpose yet other than as a demonstration. So the carving of a spoon is something that was worth, in effect, $1,600 in opportunity cost for me to produce. And that is wild. In my mind, this is probably the most convincing uh, defense of the ideas of self-sufficiency and homesteading and home production. Because in terms of raw monetary output, absolutely. The other things are worth way more. But do you know what? I get a lot of satisfaction out of growing vegetables. For me, I don't know of many things that are more cathartic and relaxing and ennobling that just make me feel good. And maybe you don't feel that way, and that's fine. You don't have to. I get a lot of value personally, a lot of satisfaction, a lot of, let's, let's call it entertainment value, because that's an easy concept to understand. People spend money to be entertained. So they're spending money out of pocket, the 10 bucks for the movie ticket, plus the opportunity cost. So if you factor in the opportunity costs involved in making stuff yourself, you know, opportunity costs are high, they really are. And it's worth it for the people who say that it's worth it. Subjectively, if you want to carve a spoon instead of watching Netflix, or better yet, carve a spoon while watching Netflix, I don't know if that actually is better. I, I probably would just carve the spoon and not watch the Netflix. Then it actually was worth it to you. This is uh, kind of an interesting video. Is this spoon really worth $1,600? If you factor in um, my educational qualifications and the time it took to make it, the opportunity cost says that it actually did cost me that much. What's it costing for me to take a, a lower paying job and live in a small rural town? Well, quite a lot actually. But you know what? I chose this because I prefer it. And I'm not always going to be here. Um, longer term, I'd like to live in a place where water magically falls from the sky and move to a place like Missouri. But in the meantime, I chose this and that means that it's worth it to me. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe below, and please leave a comment about opportunity cost, about things that you do, and you don't have to be paid to do them. You just enjoy them, even if other people might consider them work. See you next time. Try it. Careful.